It's analog, it's an effects unit. In terms of new effects pedals, this is actually old news, but I still think that it deserves a mention for anyone whose radar it's gone under. Benny Dub might actually be one of my new favorite effects pedal companies just because of the quality. This one in particular, the DS71 Dub Siren, is very specific. I've made a sample pack of some of my favorite sounds from the DS71. It's available to Patreon members, so link for that in the description. It's just the quality. We're gonna take a look at that today. Shout out to Moog Audio for lending me this pedal. I'm actually creating content for them over on their TikTok channel. And so I have access to so much gear. This is one thing that stood out to me, which is why I'm here with it. Sometimes I think about it, like I'm in a very lucky position. Like what, what is my life? <laughs> In terms of effects pedals in general, Benny Dub is just so solid. I also had a chance to check out their Digital Echo. Also great quality. Here's a little clip of me using it. So if someone from Betty Dub watches this video, let's work together. This video is sponsored by DistroKid. They are a music distribution platform that's specifically made for independent artists and producers, much like myself, very possibly you as well. We'll be getting into a few reasons why I think they're awesome later in this video. All right, so very simple pedal. Let's take a look at how it works and more importantly, how it sounds. These sounds are clearly inspired by the classic drum synth modules, but with like an effects dub siren spin on it. Sounds like a siren. Bank B. There's a simple tuning knob right here. Decay, so if I set this short, as soon as I lift my finger off the button, that's when it stops, whereas the opposite of that, long. So now it's gonna sound for a very long time. I have some time to work these controls. And then of course, somewhere in the middle. I don't know about you, these are sounds that I could literally listen to all day long. Over here, there's a modulation section, so depth as well as rate, these are at zero right now. If the depth stays at zero, these all sound the same. As I turn the depth up, and the rate, this is where you get into variation between uh, these different buttons. There's also a trigger input here, right there. And there's also a knob for trigger sensitivity, right there. This gives you the option to maybe tuck this pedal away within your setup. Because it's so specific, you might not go to it very often. So it does make sense to use an external trigger. Right in the middle, there is a filter knob as well, which you could use just as a straight up filter. Or dual function filter and tune. In terms of the content and controls of the pedal, that's it, that's pretty much all she wrote. And we'll take a look in a bit at who might actually want to have this as part of their setup because it's so specific. It really depends on your background in my opinion, it's, it's definitely not gonna work for everyone. In terms of design, obviously this is subjective, 
depends on what your taste is. I don't find this to be like the prettiest pedal. Very similar in design to all of their other pedals as well. It has a very specific aesthetic. In terms of something to compare the feel to, it really reminds me of the Dreadbox Typhon like the left side of it where all the knobs are. Maybe that's a synth that you're familiar with. It's just so responsive, right? So all of these knobs, they're quite sensitive. Despite the simplicity, you can see how well thought out this pedal actually is. It's clearly designed to be hands-on, no menu diving, a very specific part of your setup. All the controls are right here. You hit a button. So let's take a closer look at what genre this thing is actually useful in. I think you're gonna be surprised. I went hard on Jamiori this year, so I just have like a bunch of jams sitting in my hard drive right now. So let's try it over a few of those jams. Let's try it over something else. And of course, dub, dub siren. We gotta play this over some reggae. In case you're interested, in terms of the rest of the setup, I'm actually running through the Model 1.4. This is a mixer that's just been blowing my mind for the past few months. I also have the Night Sky here, which is an effects return that's being sent to the DS71. So there's a bit of embellishment there, but just on its own. It's just still so satisfying. And now let's talk about today's sponsor, DistroKid. Here's a few reasons why you should be using DistroKid as opposed to other music distribution platforms, especially if you're an independent artist or producer. Firstly, they're on the cutting edge of social media and new music promotional tools. They're definitely the pioneers in that sense because their platform depends on people like us, independent artists and producers, to use these tools to promote our own music. The amount of stores or streaming platforms that DistroKid distributes to is insane. And they also keep up to date with smaller or up and coming platforms that you might not even know about or have access to. So a perfect example of this is a platform called KKBox, which DistroKid distributes to. You think that Spotify is my biggest streaming earner, but it's actually not KKBox is. So thank you DistroKid for keeping track of that. Also banking info and withdrawal is very easy to set up. DistroKid does not take a cut. They deliver 100% of streaming royalties to you, no extra charge. Independent artists and producers, there is a reason why DistroKid distributes one third of the world's music, which is insane. Okay, back to the video. There is an affiliate link for the Benny Dub DS71 Dub Siren in the description of this video. If you end up using that link, I actually make a small commission from that sale. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So that's just one of the best ways of supporting what I do. Another way for us to support each other, if you like these sounds and you're not really interested in purchasing the Benny Dub, I have a sample pack available through my Patreon. Link to that in the description as well. Along with a bunch of other exclusive content. I just started the Patreon, so I'm like really excited about it. So yeah, hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you have any other comments or questions and see you when i see you